Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to download, install this global preset style guide for Divi's financial advisor layout pack. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the video description below. So this is where the global preset style guide is. So once you download it, I'm going to show you now how to use it. Okay, so to download it, you want to come all the way down here, click on this button here, which says get it for free. And then it's going to take you to this email opt-in. So I'm just going to add my email here. And then I'm going to click on download. Next, you're going to see this button here, which says download the files click over here and now our files are being downloaded here on my computer and you can see it here on the left of my screen on the left button so what i normally do when i download any presets or any layout packs i immediately unzip it so let's go and open this folder so now i have this folder here and in fact let me just show you what this looks like so i'm just going to drag this over here right so this is what i've just downloaded so what you want to do is to double click this to open it and now we can see it has this uh, unzipped folder. So when you click here on this download, I mean on the uh, folder itself, you notice that you have this file right here. So this is the file that we're going to need moving forward. So I'm just going to pull this over here to the side and then we're going to now go on to our website. All right, so just making sure that I select the right tab here. Okay, so this is my website right here. So next, I just need to log in. So make sure you're logged into the admin dashboard. Okay, so I'm going to log in here using my username and password. All right, so now it's time to install our preset. So what you want to do is to scroll all the way down here, hover over DV and then click on a DV library. Right, so now that the DV library is open, next you want to click on import and export. Click here on the tab which says import. So this is where our file needs to come in. Now, you may be wondering which file is this? Now, this is the file that uh, I showed you earlier on where we unzip that file, which is right here. So this is the file, the unzipped version, okay? So that's what we need to add over here. So I'm just going to drag it like that. Okay, the next part, which is very important, is to click here where, it's, where it says import presets. So now that I've clicked this, it's going to import all our, our presets. Next, I'm going to click here, and now it's importing all my presets. Okay, so now our presets have been installed. That is great. The next step now is to just create a brand new page because we want to see where all these presets are. So I'm going to click on add new, and then I'm just going to call this presets, and then click on use Divi Builder. I'm going to click here on build from scratch. Okay, so um, just for a quick example here, I'm just going to go for a single column and then I'm going to add a button module here and select it. Okay, so now we have this button here. So I know we've uh, added all our presets. So the question now is where are all these presets? So now if you click here on this top drop down, we notice that now we have this first button one and button two. So once we select it, notice what happens. We get the style that is in our preset. Now, if you want to look um, here and see what these presets are, you can just head over here and uh, take a look at the guide. And this will show you the buttons. It will show you all the style guides that we have throughout this. So as you can see here, we have backgrounds, we have headings, we have all sorts of things here that we can use. So right now I chose button one and this is the button. And we also have button two. Now let's take a look and see what that button two looks like. So if I save this and uh, let's say I want to add another button here, I will click here and add another button. And this time I'm going to choose the preset of button two. Notice what happens. This is now the preset that I have. So the next question is, okay, let's say I want my colors to match my own colors, which I have for my branding. How can I do that? Well, it's easy. All you have to do now is to go into design and then click on button. So this is where now you can start changing your colors. So let's say, for example, you want to change this to red. Just like that. Boom. You've changed this to red. And for your text color, let's say you want to make it white. Just like that, it's changed into white. But now, if you want to save this preset now, all you have to do is to now click here on this drop down, and then you can click here on edit preset style. So now we are in the edit mode. So once you've edited it and you're happy with it, you can save and give it a name. So now I can just come over here. Let's just make a quick change here, back and forth like that. 
So now I can just come over here, save it, and then now it's asking me, are you sure you've made changes to the button module preset settings, blah, blah, blah. So if you want to save it, this is where now you can save it. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So the next step now is to just look for a template for our financial advisor layout pack. So I'm just going to come over here now and search for it and see what comes up. So as you can see here, we have the financial advisor here. So uh, for this example, I'm going to install the about us and then click on use this layout. So what is going to happen now is it's going to install all the elements of that page design. So if you're going to be using this uh, page as your um, main design, what you need to do is to be able to go in and also change your headings, your buttons or any other style that you want to uh, add on your uh, page. So this is where now the style guide actually helps you a lot because you can go in now and start using all those elements which will match perfectly with what we have here. Now just to show you quickly, let's say I wanted to add a button here. I can just click here and select button and select it. So here now I can click on this drop down and then choose my buttons and these will perfectly match everything that's on my site here because the colors that I used in this layout pack are the exact same colors that we have in our style guide. All right, so pretty much this is how you use it. I'm just going to save this now. And also I forgot to mention that if you want to uh, change your color palette, you're also able to change your color palette. And then all you have to do is to go through this page and just uh, change all these instances, like for example, this button background color, you can change it to your color from your color palette. And the same applies here with the fonts and everything. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.